Welcome to our channel. We specialize in updating the latest news on our favorite movie, The Young and the Restless. Please like, share and subscribe to receive notifications whenever a new video. Thank you and enjoy your video. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Survey for Monday, April 6, Father That Victor Newman Will Show Up to See Victoria Newman at Newman Enterprises. Victor will say that he has something to talk about with Victoria, yet before he can fill her in on what's happening, Adam Newman will burst in. Victor will hand Victoria the manila envelope containing Alyssa Montalvo's anecdote about the supposed homicide of her dad A.J. Montalvo. Victoria will take one look, at that point solicit what kind from trash this is. Adam will clarify the entire tale about how Victor executed A.J. Victoria will shy away, obviously not accepting the story. Adam will then gloat about how he owns the story, and that he can bury the story. Adam will say that he wants all this as he looks around the Newman CEO office. Victor will chime in that Adam's trying to blackmail him, and the men will argue over whether Adam really has the evidence. Adam will say that Alyssa gathered the evidence and the coroner confirms that Victor paid him off. Victoria will then get in Adam's face and attempt to dress him down, but Adam will refuse to back down. Adam will insist that he will get what he wants or else the story will be published. Victor will be surprisingly quiet during the exchange. Adam will turn to Victor to ask if they have a deal, and Victoria will tell Adam to leave. After Adam's gone, Victoria will go on about Adam. Victoria will say that the story is all lies, and that this is outrageous and that they need to fight back. Victor will then quietly sit down in the CEO chair and tell Victoria that there's something he needs to tell her. A short time later, Victor will call Adam and say that Newman Enterprises is his. So, what did Victor tell Victoria? Of course, one possibility is that Victor disclosed his involvement in AJ's murder, and that Adam's story is 100% correct. But it's also possible that there's a big twist coming, and that Victor is really protecting Adam in this scenario, and that Adam himself killed AJ when he was a child. Stranger things have certainly happened, and this could all be Victor's way of protecting Adam. Meanwhile, on the new episode of Y&R on Monday, April 6, Summer Newman, Hunter King, will meet up with Nick Newman, Joshua Morrow, at Crimson Lights. Nick will be upset, and he'll share the news about Sharon Newman's Sharon Case cancer battle with Summer, including the fact that Sharon's course of chemo didn't work. Soon, Phyllis Summers Michelle Stafford, will walk in, and Summer will be astonished to learn that her mom has known about Sharon's cancer for weeks. Phyllis will offer Summer some good advice for how to help Faith Newman Alvia Allen Lind, and Summer will take off for Sharon's place. Phyllis and Nick will then comment on how scary Sharon's situation is right now, and Nick will say that it makes him think about the people he cares about. Phyllis will get uncomfortable and awkwardly say that they don't need to define their relationship. That will strike Nick as odd, especially since they seem to have defined their relationship just the other day. Phyllis will then get skittish, noting that if one of them got sick then it would be a lot of pressure. Nick will say that he doesn't feel that way, and that he wants to have someone in his life who he'd do anything for. Nick will ask Phyllis why she is so weirded out at the prospect of one of them going through a tough time, and Phyllis will awkwardly say that she's late for a meeting and leave. Nick will be speechless. Next, over at Sharon's place, Faith and Mariah Copeland, Cameron Grimes, will learn about their mother's grim report from the doctor. They'll all hug and cry together, and Sharon will explain that her surgery will be more invasive than previously thought. Faith won't seem to get what that means, but Mariah will, and she and Sharon will share a look. Later, Tessa Porter, Kate Fairbanks, will show up, newly done with her tour, and will talk with Sharon privately. 
Sharon will thank Tessa for forgiving Mariah, and Sharon will say that it is important for her to know that Mariah has someone in her corner for support during this difficult time. Soon, Faith and Mariah will return, and later Summer will drop by to check in on everyone. Summer will hug Sharon and whisper to her that she wants to help. Sharon will tell Summer to just take a seat and everyone will listen as Tessa recounts her adventures from touring. Sharon will look around at all the girls thoughtfully, clearly still worried but happy that her family is acting normally and having a good time together. Soon, everyone but Sharon will take off for a movie, and Sharon will quietly shut the door, taking in the silence. Comment from the audience. I think Victor is afraid of the truth coming out about Alyssa's dad AJ, his wife, daughter and the golden boy Nick later will have questions why he gave in that easily. Up there it said, Adam killed AJ it's not true, he was a little boy when that happened. Victor helped Hope out cause she figured something was wrong at the barn so he went there to check it out then that's where the truth lies? Summer will get updates on Sharon and embrace her. Victor is giving in to Adam because Adam is blackmailing him about what happened in Kansas. Victor is giving Adam enough rope to hang himself and when he hang himself I hope it choke the life out of him. I hate this Adam, Victor is a murder storyline. I would rather see Tessa and Mariah in the bed babbling about anything during the whole episode, sorry. Give us Teria, or is it Messa? It's so obvious that after some short-term victory for Adam there will be obnoxious gloating and grandstanding by Victor, Victoria and Nick. No thank you. Plus Adam gets betrayed by childhood friend Alyssa, so his Kansas childhood is tarnished for no reason. We have seen this same old story before. Enough.